What's up guys? Lala from with you again. Just going to bring you another build. Uh, this time a Tech Forcer build. Running the shotgun uh, secondary with the sniper rifle primary. Just a little something different from that dodge that's kind of uh, dominating at the moment. Just play uh, something different with a total different game style. Uh, so as I said, primary will be a sniper rifle. Uh, I've usually been running the Thantos basically to bring down the shields and the dozers, uh, secondary being the loco. Uh, so moving into the skills, I'll start with the enforcer tree. You've got two trees that I essentially fill out, it's enforcer, enforcer and the technician tree. Uh, and pretty much that's where all the skills go. Uh, so open up the uh, enforcer tree, ace and out transporter, moving those bags and throwing it further. One of those skills that I think uh, all builds should have, or uh, you'd want to get something pretty decent if, if you don't have it. Uh, skipping out on the rest of that level and moving up, ace and underdog, getting that extra damage uh, and mitigating that 15% damage uh, when there's three enemies or more around you, uh, I think it's quite handy, quite, quite uh, valuable. So uh, considering you're using a shotgun, you will be uh, in amongst a fair bit of the action, uh, so it will process of quite a few times. Die hard, ace and that. The uh, primary for bleed out's handy but the armor and recovery rate there is uh, why we're acing that one. Get that extra 15% which uh, will come in handy when it's time to uh, recover all that ICTV. Uh, I did say we're using the loco so uh, shotgun impact, that stability for 25% and that 35% uh, extra damage come in quite handy. Uh, I've just got some basic stun resistance and just a basic tough guy, reduce that camera shake. Uh, we will take quite a few hits obviously without the dodge or anything like that so uh, just to reduce that shake. Uh, coming up into ammo specialists, uh, bring the two bags with the 200% ammo. This is kind of more of a, uh, a team move this one, bring the ammo bags along and help everyone out. Uh, we'll be using the loco with some uh, with fully loaded and mag plus from the tech tree so we uh, probably won't end up using that much of the ammo bags if any on most most occasions but uh, bring them along. Uh, shotgun CQB uh, that reload speed 50% uh, increased is super handy uh, but acing it I think uh, is rather pointless. Uh, same with hard boiled uh, Accuracy with the shotgun, I think, is uh, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, but most of the time you will be in quite close with everyone shooting um, in quite close quarters. So trying to get that spread a bit wider, guarantee those headshots, even if you do slightly miss the headshot or, or you've perhaps got him in the chest, that spread can sometimes get out, get the um, headshot for you. Fully loaded, increasing the total ammo capacity by 25%. Uh, again, just helping that ammo pickup rate. I didn't get uh, aced fully loaded just because 175%. You already get 135% from the perk decks with walk-in closet. That extra 40% I didn't see as being uh, really super handy or all that valuable, so I just uh, skipped that one out. ICTV. Uh, that's why we're here. We're stacking armor. This is this is the one you want and overkill that extra 75% damage uh, for every kill with the shotgun is is pretty uh, pretty valuable. Uh, moving into the tech tree, I'm uh, pretty much trying to move up this tree to get bulletproof. Uh, so the best way I thought to do that was uh, stack on some of this uh, C4 here so we could get the shake charge and sort out the doors comes in quite handy. So moving up through this tree, uh, aced out demolition man Got the single rifleman so we can snap to zoom faster with our Thantos. Uh, get those dozers and shields. Sharpshooter, uh, help us out with the uh, Thantos. But uh, this will also, that 20% more accurate with single shot weapons will also affect our shotgun. Uh, slightly affect that, um, affect that spread. Uh, shotgun but 20% won't affect it too much considering we've skipped out on uh, hard-boiled on that other on the other tree here. 
uh, coming across, acing out the drills, both hardware expert and drill sergeant. I didn't get silent drilling, it's a loud, it's a loud build, so it really uh, didn't need that at all. Combat engineer, just basic, got uh, that one. And then the tactical mines, if, uh, if you've done your mission and you've got sort of, you know, you've used, used your C4 on the doors and you've still got a couple left, throw some of these up and uh, then you can get the, uh, the specials and bits and pieces as they come through. Uh, Jack of all trades, just increase that uh, explosion by 70%. Shape charge, you get that extra three in your infantry which comes in super handy. Some doors um, take, take three mines, but you pretty much need to get that skill to be able to use them on doors, so go hand in hand really. Uh, getting the shock proof, uh, you are slow so you can't run away from tasers or bits and pieces if you um, if you hear them and can't see them straight away, so you you are more likely to get to get shocked. Uh, so tasers backfire, knocking back the taser come in quite handy. Arm uh, bulletproof, get our armor to absorb an extra fifty percent damage, um, get it to recover twenty five percent faster. You know, really maximizing that ICTV. Uh, Mag plus, just the extra five rounds there for our shotgun, come in uh, super handy. So that was pretty much most of our skill points. Uh, I've just dropped a couple in Mastermind here. Get our endurance up. Uh, this the build does run around like a bit of a slug, uh, quite slow. So to increase that uh, stamina, and in the Ghost Tree, Ace and Out Sprinter, just so we can get that li a little bit of extra speed. So we're really not that far behind everyone else. Uh, and Fast Hands, another one of those those skills that I like every build to have if there's any loot bags or anything I don't want to be standing there taking forever to pick it up uh, and I haven't dropped any points in the Fuji tree and that's all all 100 points in the perk deck uh, I've got armor going on just with the extra armor 5% 5% 5% an extra 10% recovery rate and an extra 10% recovery rate there and another 5% armor uh, so Pretty handy tree to have if we're if we're stacking all that armor. Moving through the weapons, uh, as I said, primary would be the Thantos. This is just to bring down shields and dozers, really, nothing else. Uh, so, just the tank buster barrel help with that accuracy. You know, most stuff's going to be quite close, so accuracy should not be that big a deal. Uh, gadgets, personal preference. I always like the little green line. Grip, I've got the pro grip, just increase that accuracy and the stability, but uh, again everything's going to be quite close, so it's uh, nothing's really needed. Uh, and sight again is personal preference, I'm running the mil spec scope, but um, things are quite close so you could easily get away with some of the, the non-magnified uh, sights. Alright, moving into the secondary, as I said the loco shotgun. I haven't got any of the custom ammos, uh, pretty much just to increase that ammo pickup rate. Uh, I don't think the uh, the extra 15 damage is worth that offset from that extra damage that you pick up. Keep having to run back to those ammo bags. Shark tooth, teeth barrel extension, uh, get that extra 10 damage, get get that accuracy uh, down. You know, just kind of a a happy happenstance and the stability. Up, you know, that accuracy down increases our spread, which comes in handy. Gadgets, personal preference, you can have none, or you know, a torch, whatever you'd like. I like to run the laser. Grip wise, the Ergo grip, just for that extra stability. I haven't chosen any of these two because they increase your accuracy, uh, reducing that spread. Extended mag for the magazine slot, uh, pretty, uh, pretty easy choice there, only choice. Sights, pretty much. Personal preference. Uh, again, I, I like the the compact hollow sight, but uh, it's all up to all up to the user. Stock-wise, I've got the police shorty stock. Just increase that stability without uh, oh, without increasing any of the accuracy or anything like that. And 11 stability is by far the the best there. An upper receiver of the shell rack. Uh, again, 
Easy choice. Only one there. Brings your magazine up to, I think, 32. You end up starting with it's It's quite good. Ah, oh, they're the weapons. Running the Thantos and the Loco Shoddy. And that's the uh, Tech Forcer build, or the Armored Slug, as I like to call it. Uh, it's quite a fun build. It, uh, it can mitigate the damage quite well. Uh, if you um, get out of the way, if your armor starts to get a little bit low, wait for that to recharge. Your recovery rate should be uh, fairly quick. And then I uh, jump back out and take a whole bunch more damage and, and throw some out. I'll, uh, I'll upload a video just showing some of the gameplay with it, uh, showing you what it plays like. Very satisfying build and uh, you know, shooting people with that shotgun nice and close. Just watching them uh, ragdoll is, is quite enjoyable. Uh, I hope you have fun if you choose to build this and uh, if you enjoyed the video, thank you for, uh, very much for watching.